Kimbo, where do you go from here? Oh, it's a video response to Hattrick Hockey 17. I just, actually just found your videos uh, a couple days ago, and I'm loving them. Um, and I wanted to respond to this one, because I've actually been wanting to get into making some MMA videos, so I guess this will be my first. Um, where does Kimbo go from here? This is third professional MMA fight. And this was actually his first MMA fight. If you want to get technical about it. Because yeah, the fight against Bo Cantrell, what was that? that? It never went to the ground. It was stand up, one minute, 30, 30 seconds, whatever it was. Um, fight against Tank, what, again, what, 45 seconds, one minute, never went to the ground. So you know, this was really his first MMA fight. And I think, you know, all the talk going into this fight is that James Thompson has a glass chin, a you know, glass jaw. James Thompson you, you can't take a punch. And I really think Elite XC set up this fight because they thought Kimbo was going to steamroll right over James Thompson. You know, and that seemed to be the general consensus going into this was that Kimbo was going to plow right through James Thompson, and you know that's what all the hype. This was so hyped, all the Kimbo. I know, I know people personally who know nothing about MMA, who know Kimbo Slice. You know, for better or worse, he is. You know, to the casual fan, to the people who know nothing about MMA, he is the the poster boy for mixed martial arts. And I think that's a sad thing. Because where does Elite XC go from here? And I'll, I'll get to that later. But, uh, you know, back, back to Kimbo. Um, Cat wants to get in the video here. Um, so he was tested against a guy who he wasn't supposed to be tested against. This was not supposed to be the test. This was supposed to be a show to make a, a, to put Elite XC on the map, and it it backfired on him because Kimbo's ground game was exposed. He's got no ground game. He laid in that second round. He laid on the ground for over a minute. James Thompson was doing nothing. James Thompson was in side control, doing nothing. You know he was he had these little hammer fists. He was started dropping elbows finally, but he was doing these little hammer fists that was nothing. You know, at the, the stats at the end of that fight were, were what, almost 200 shots landed? I, I, I think I might have that wrong, but I think Thompson landed almost 200 shots during that fight, and, and Kimbo didn't have a scratch on his face. So that tells you how hard, you know, all those shots he was landing while in side control, they were doing nothing. So basically, that shows you the caliber of fighter that James Thompson is, is that he has a guy laying on the ground who's doing nothing who's not even defending his head against the shot, and he couldn't finish him. Kimbo was not defending himself at all, and James Thompson couldn't finish him. So that shows you the level that James Thompson is at now. Conversely, that shows you where Kimbo is at, is that he had a guy who was basically just laying on top of him, kissing him, and he couldn't get up. He couldn't make a scramble. He couldn't do anything. He was stuck there with a guy laying on top of him, basically kissing him. He was stuck there, and so, you know, his ground game was exposed, and he, he's got a lot of work to do, and at, at his age, I don't think he has the time to ever become a top-tier guy. Um, he needs at least a year, year and a half, two years of, of intense jujitsu before he could ever even think about becoming a top tier guy. And, you know, I just don't see him having the time. You know, but by the time he gets the training he needs, his body's going to be breaking down. So, but, but what does this say for Elite XC? Now, they hyped Kimbo up so much, and I, I truly believe that they thought Kimbo was going to steamroll right, right through James Thompson, and he was going to make their product look very good. And that just backfired on him. They hyped this guy so much. And I, see, I hated Kimbo at first when they were hyping him. Because I was like, here's this guy who just gets into MMA. And all of a sudden, he's the poster boy. 
and I didn't like him for it. But then I, I thought about it. I saw him in some interviews, and he looked—he appeared to be very humble about it. He, you know, he would, just seems grateful to be there. So I can't hate him. You know, he's out there doing his thing, and he's trying. And, you know, he, he has the balls to get in the cage. I, I'm not going to take anything away from him. It's not his fault that they're hyping him. You know, he has that look. He has the X factor. He, some promoters are trying to capitalize on it. But that's bad. That's bad because Elite XC, they put all this hype into Kimbo. And where do they go from here? Because... They definitely cannot have Kimbo headlining their, their next card. He just doesn't have... Because, see, he had all this hype going in. He had all this steam going into this James Thompson fight. But all the casual fans that that might have brought in, do you think they're going to want to return to see the next Elite XC event? It, it, I don't think so. Because, if personally, if I was not an MMA fan, and I got caught up in this Kimbo Slice hype, and I tuned in, and I saw that fight, I probably wouldn't return for the... I would say, that's a bunch of crap. That, that's, that's just a, a shitty product. I don't want to see it. So, I don't... Th I, I think that's going to backfire. I really think that's going to backfire on Elite XC. Trying to make Kimbo their big name, and... You know, that lackluster fight that we saw, that, that's not going to be good for their product. Now, where do they go from here? I mean, what can they possibly do on their next card that's going to generate interest? It's going to make people forget about this Kimbo fiasco. And, you know, after that fight, after the Kimbo fight, you know, all the headlines I saw were about do they fix fights? Was the fight stopped early? Should it have been stopped in the second round? Did Kimbo tap out? I mean, there's a lot of controversy around that. And that is not good for that product. That is not good for Elite XC. So where are they going to go from here? Um, if they can get Tito Ortiz, I guess, they can do the Frank Shamrock, Tito Ortiz. You know, I guess one of them's going to have to move a weight class. But, you know, I'm sure they'd be happy to do it because that's, that's a lot of money. Even even if they can't get the casual fan in, I mean, that's a good fight for MMA fans. I would like to see that fight. With the history, you could really generate interest for that. And th that might be their only hope, because I don't see where they're going to go from here. If they can get Tito Ortiz, Frank Shamrock, but other than that, where are they going to go from here? You know, I mean, what, what really irked me about them is they're, they... They banked on Kimbo, who had no experience. He comes into the game, and he's all of a sudden main eventing, when, you know, there's so many guys out there who have been busting their ass, fighting, training for years, and years upon years, they've been working their way up for so long, and, you know, these guys have to sit back and watch Kimbo Slice, who just got in the game, Headline, a, a, you know, headline, main event, this groundbreaking prime time network TV. They, they have to sit back and watch the fight that they did, and th that's a shame. And I, I, I can't put that on Kimbo because you know, if if anyone was in his position, they would they would do the same thing. It, it's the promoters, it's shitty promoters. Uh, what was his name? Gary Shaw, who was promoting that. <laughs> at the press conference after the fight made a, a, an announcement, I guess he was tr still trying to hype Kimbo up and he made the announcement that James Thompson had been taken to the hospital uh, we would like you all to pray for him and uh, meanwhile James Thompson's sitting on the other side of the room <laughs> which, you, you know, that shows you where Gary Shaw is, is at in this game you know, he, he's not in it for anything but hype he just, he's looking for the quick buck, and, and that's not what this sport needs.